so we're going to build the hand crank theater. And first you're going to need these two cutouts from your die cuts. And you're going to need some tape. So you're going to take the two big gears and you're going to tape them on so that they don't fall off. What works for me is to make a little double-sided piece of tape by folding the tape back on itself. Sticking it to the ends here, and then you can stick it onto the big gear like that. So you can do that for both of them. So now we have these guys. And I'm looking at picture number one. Then you're going to need the short rods. You're going to want three of them. And you're going to take a medium sized axle and you're going to take a small axle. Starting with the medium sized axle that goes on the top of one and in the middle of another, you're going to put the stop up here. And then on the bottom, you're going to put a small yellow gear. You're going to use an anchor pin. You're going to leave three holes and then add an anchor pin which is what you're going to use to connect another short rod. And then you're going to use the short axle. You're going to leave one more hole and then stick the short axle in with the stop <coughs> on this end again. And you'll add a washer and an axle stop. So now you have this. So let's leave this aside for a second and go on to picture number two. We're going to get a base plate, one of these guys. Put these two into the base plate. You'll leave three holes from the end. You're going to use two long axles. You're going to leave the stop on this side. Put a medium-sized gear, and then you're going to stick it in. Leave four holes empty from the top. Like that. Then you're going to stick the big guy, the big gear, and then another one of these four holes away. So leave three holes in the middle. So the axle stop is on this side, on the top axle, and then leave four holes. One, two, three, four. What you want is to have this big gear meshing with this, and then to keep this in place, you can push this all the way through until it stops. And then to keep this in place so that they mesh, you're going to stick a washer and an axle stop. And then to keep this in place, you can actually do the same thing. Stick a washer and an axle stop. All right. So now we're going to stick a crankshaft into that little hole in the big gear so that you can actually use this to crank it. Then you're going to stick the anchor pins on the four corners. Alright, one. Now it's time to connect these two things. So now we're going to look at picture number three and basically what you do is the side that has the two wheels on it, two gears, is going to get the side of this that has the small gear on it. So the holes in this rod should fit on the anchor pins and you can push this, this gear down, this little one, because this little gear should be meshing with this big gear. But when you crank the big gear, it should move the little gear. All right, and now you can add the bird to one of them, although you want them to be at a perpendicular angle to each other. So if this is facing like this, the other one should go on like this. So these are at a perpendicular angle. And these two should be meshing. And the black one, of course, you can draw something on the other side because it's white. This suggests a fish on one side and an aquarium on the other, but then you hand crank your hand crank theater. And on this one you would see, basically, you'd see a bird in a cage because it's going so fast. It's as if you were, you know, looking at a flip book and every other page was a bird, you know, and every other page was a cage. You'd basically see the bird in the cage. 
And on this side, you can you could draw something else if you wanted to. So that's your hand crank theater.